What's going on? My name's Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to get a faster color correction and color grade in DaVinci Resolve using this little thing right here. Let's take a look. All right, you guys know me. You know that I love hanging out in the comment section of my videos. I love answering your questions and answering your tweets and emails and all that stuff. And one of the questions that I get a lot, one of the struggles that a lot of you guys have in common is with color correcting and color grading your footage, which I totally understand. It's something that I struggled with a lot when I was new. Honestly, I used to just throw a LUD on it and be done with it. And you can tell too, if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos, whew, they were bad looking. And one of the things I love about DaVinci Resolve, I've said this before, is it makes the whole color correction and color grading process so much faster, so much easier. And when you add something like this into the mix, that workflow just, just is super fast. This is the X-Rite Color Checker Passport video. It's a really small, literally pocket-sized color card and gray card that you can use in order to get a proper white balance in camera and to get a proper color correction in your videos. And I'm gonna show you how to use this to color correct in DaVinci Resolve in just a second, but first let's just take a little mini tour of this thing. When you first open this thing up, you're gonna find your exposure card and your color card, and these things are total game changers. You're gonna use the exposure card in order to get a proper exposure in your videos. You use the color card in order to get a proper exposure and color correction in your videos. Go ahead and close that, flip it over, and open up the other side, and you've got your focus card, which is actually something that you use in Camera. You just stick this at eye level. And once this is all in focus, because of that design right there, it's really easy to tell if it's in focus. Uh, you, once that's in focus, your subject is in focus and you're good to go. And then this right here is your 18% gray card, which a lot of people use in order to get a proper white balance and a proper color correction. Now, before we actually jump into DaVinci Resolve and I show you how to use this, let me talk about a few things that you need to do in camera when you're actually shooting your videos in order to make this work. First of all, it's really important that you get a proper white balance in camera. Doing this is gonna make it so, especially if you're shooting on Rec. 709, footage, you don't have to do too much tweaking in order to get a good color correction, and that way you're not risking a whole bunch of noise or artifacts or stuff like that. Now I showed you how to use the 18% gray card in order to do this in camera. If you haven't seen this, go back, watch Monday's video, color temperature versus white balance, or white balance versus color temperature. I don't remember what it's called, but it's back there. It's just a few videos ago. Go watch that, then come back here. Once you've set your white balance for your video, you still want to either Either use the gray card or the color card and all you want to do is sit here for the first 10 seconds of your video or so just sit here with the gray card just like this and then same thing with the color card just open it up just like this or like this it doesn't matter once you do that for about 10 seconds you're free to go and film your video and then when you're all done put your footage into DaVinci Resolve put your timeline together make sure that the shots with the color card or the gray card are in the timeline and then move on over to the color page all right now that that's all out of the way and you've got all your stuff in DaVinci Resolve let's jump into the computer I'm going to show you how to use the x right color checker passport in order to properly color correct and color match your footage. All right, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We're in the color page and you can see I've got a couple clips lined up here and ready to go. They're both of the same monkey holding the x right color checker passport video. One of them is holding it with the 18% gray card showing. The other one is holding it with the exposure card and the color card showing. First, let me show you how to do a super quick white balance using the 18% gray card. Let's go ahead and come over to that clip. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the bottom left. We're gonna click the white balance eyedropper. We're going to hover over that gray card and we're just gonna click on it. And there you go. And from there, you're basically good to go to start color grading your footage and tweaking it how you like it. Now, if you want an even more accurate color correction, you want your skin tones to be right, you want your exposure to be right, and you wanna do it all in basically one click, what you need to use is the color card. So let's go ahead and click on the image of the monkey holding the color card. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our color match menu. We're gonna go ahead to our playback monitor. We're gonna hit the drop down box. We're gonna choose color chart. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna resize our color chart selector so that it matches up with the color chart in the image. 
And then once that's done, what we can do is we come down to our color match menu again. We're going to go to this drop down box in the top right, and we're going to make sure that the correct color card is selected. For us, it's the x right Color Checker Passport video. Go ahead and click on that. We're going to double check all of our information and make sure that everything is correct. We're going to say it's good. Source Gamma is Rec 709. Target Gamma is Rec 709. Target Color Space Rec 709 and color temperature 6500K. Let's go ahead and click match. And then if we zoom out and take a look, we've got a correct exposure. We've got correct colors. Everything is good to go. And I actually think that that looks a lot better than just using the 18% gray card. The only thing that I want to do here is tweak the exposure just a little bit. If you come over to our scopes and we have our waveform on these lines right here, and there's one down here that you can't see, but these three lines here represent the three lines on our exposure card. And I can see that the white line is just a little bit too low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my primaries wheels. I'm going to come over to the gain. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up just a bit until it's just below that 1023 line. And there you go. Now you're free to do all the color grading and everything that you want. Now, like I said, I just got this and I've only been using it for a couple weeks. Before that, I was doing everything by hand. I was doing manual color correction, manual color grading and all that stuff. And if you want to know the workflow that I use in order to do that, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you like this video and you want to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.